Today, I wanted to give a big shout out to Major Moose on Twitter. The reason for this is because they made a tweet yesterday that went semi-viral on Canucks Twitter, and I thought it was absolutely hilarious, which is why I wanted to share it here with you today. Major Moose's tweet doesn't include any text. It's just three images side by side by side. But this is ultimately what they mean when they say that a picture speaks a thousand words. Well, what about three? The first image in Major Moose's tweet is Jonathan Huberdeau's point production season from yesterday. Now, I say from yesterday because this tweet was made before the Calgary Flames played off against the Dallas Stars, but Jonathan Huberdeau, in nine games played, had two goals, three assists, five points, and was a minus 10. Now, if you take a look at his numbers today, he actually is up to 10 games played because he went pointless in that Calgary-Dallas game. The next image in this same Twitter post is Tyler Myers' point production from the Vancouver Canucks. Nine games played, two goals, three assists, five total points, he is a plus four. And then the third image is a YouTube video, Jonathan Huberdeau is so back from about a month ago, this was made by, I actually don't know, I tried to YouTube it, I quoted it and everything in the YouTube search, but I couldn't find the video, that's my bad, but the image doesn't display whoever made this video, but either way, the point that Major Moose is trying to make here in this satirical tweet is that Jonathan Huberto straight up just is not as good of a player as Tyler Myers is this year. And here is the thing, when I saw this pop up on my timeline, I was like, holy crap, it's been that bad for the Calgary Flames and Jonathan Huberto? Like, we've been making all these videos, the downfall of Kadri, the Flames suck so bad, this, that, the other thing. We also alluded to how Jonathan Huberto is scoring points, but he does need to kick his point production up into gear to justify the $10.05 million a season that he is starting to make until 2030-2031. But to take a look at Tyler Myers and acknowledge that he's actually outproducing Huberto, that's hilarious. In fact, if you go over to Tyler Myers and look at his season, he's on pace for 45 points this year. That would be the second best season Myers has ever had, second only to his rookie season wherein he had 48 points and won the Calder. People don't really remember this, but Tyler Myers was a Calder winner for the NHL's Rookie of the Year award back in 2009-2010. 13 years ago, Tyler Myers had a season that was that good, and this season he is on pace for 18 goals, which would be a career high in that respect too. Like, what the hell is going on here to the point that Tyler Myers is going out there and outscoring guys like Jonathan Huberdeau? I'll tell you what, though. When it comes to the Canucks and their blue line, this team has gotten so much extra offense from their defensemen than we've ever seen, it feels like. Guys like Quinn Hughes and Carson Soucy, Philip Peronek, Tyler Myers are getting involved on the action. They are scoring points, they are scoring goals, and they're looking good in the process. Not to even say that Tyler Myers is looking amazing out there. He's still chaos draft number one. There are still many plays, many games you could debate, that have been lost due to Tyler Myers' boneheaded decision-making. But at the same time, the guy's going out there at a 45-point pace. He can't go out there and say he's doing entirely bad, right? Okay, maybe you can say he's bad, but... Uh, the point production speaks for itself. He is on pace to besting his entire past 10 years worth of point production in a single season. That includes everything he had accomplished in Buffalo and Winnipeg, except for that rookie season. That is outstanding. And for Tyler Myers to also be a plus four at the time, like, that's technically good. I mean, he scored a shorthanded goal too. When the hell have we seen Tyler Myers do that? Gonchar, Foot, these guys coming in here and helping out the Canucks D, it's been going splendidly. And I, for one, am super surprised to see this be the results on paper. Now, for Jonathan Huberdeau, let's go back over to the Calgary Flames side of things. Everybody's been talking about how the Flames have been 
down in the dumps. You've got guys that are good players, not really producing like they're good players. Nazem Kadri has been bad this year. Jonathan Huberdeau has been producing, but still, he's on pace for 41 points. Not as much as Tyler Myers right now, because he's got 5 points in 10 games played. So, my question to you is, where the hell do the Flames go from here? You can't really do anything about Huberdeau and his contract right now, because that guy, hey, guess what? He's got a full no-move clause till 2029-2030. And then there's a modified no-trade clause. So, like, what the hell? You've got this guy on for so long, and he's not doing well. You have to start thinking about the coaching staff, have to start thinking about what causes a guy like Jonathan Huberdeau to decline by 60 points from one year to the next, where right in the mirror, you have Matthew Kachuk, who had a 100-point season in Calgary. He went over to Florida, and then he had another 100-point season. What went well for Kachuk? What's going wrong with Huberdeau? Is this a product of just the team around the Flames, or is this Huberdeau himself taking the bag and running. What exactly is going on here? And with the Flames' entire rebuild on the horizon, now they're not trying to extend their expiring UFAs. It seems like they have other plans that involve making trades. Where do the Flames go from here with Huberdeau and Kadri? Because both of these guys, I'm sorry, but the way things are going, it looks like they could start to becoming anchors very, very quickly. And I'm not going to say that Tyler Myers on the Vancouver Canucks is all of a sudden a more valuable player because of one nine-game sample at the start of 23-24, but this is sort of where you start to get the identities of players, I feel. Like, 10% of the way through the year, you're kind of done the first month. This is where your opinions and your reference points for players and teams really start to concretely establish themselves. Like, sure, everything could go right for Huberto. He could have a 30-point November, where he has 30 points and 15 games played. Like, that's not impossible, I feel, for anybody. But is it likely? Hell no. The way the guy's playing right now would take a miracle for him to start producing at a point-per-game pace just in general. So, for Jonathan Huberto to be legitimately outscored by a guy like Tyler Myers, it takes a lot of bending and wheeling from the hockey gods to turn a guy who is so good in Florida into this. And my question for Flames fans is what the hell happens now? As for Tyler Myers, hey, Vancouver Canucks fans, could you give me your own general thesis statement on how Myers has played this season? Because for me, if I tried to summarize everything in like two or three sentences, I'd say there are some plays where he absolutely craps the bed still. He started off the year looking terrible, he was making bad plays, bad giveaways, bad goals against, etc, 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 but at the same time, he's scoring points. And I don't really feel comfortable with that, because we've never seen him produce at this rate. He's scoring shorthanded goals now. Like, when was the last time you've seen Tyler Myers even go beyond his own blue line whilst shorthanded, aside from, of course, going for a line change? This entire mindset of the Canucks and their decor, Myers included, Susie, Chronic, everybody in here, even Quinn Hughes with the extended amount of shots that that guy's taking, this entire team is looking bananas good on their blue line. And Tyler Myers is one cog of many in this machine that just so happens to be pulling his weight point production-wise to the point that he's now a plus four. He's been bad this season at certain points, but he's been okay. And I know I took more than two or three sentences to describe that entire thing there, but still, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you're a Vancouver Canucks fan. How do you feel about Tyler Myers and him legitimately outscoring a $10.05 million player in Jonathan Huberto just across that provincial border? Calgary fans, do I tick you off? Like, this video, this is one of many where we've talked smack about your team, but at this point, is it really all too surprising for us to have been pressing that gas pedal down even more? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about Huberto, about Myers, about this entire season so far and the sample size. I hope you enjoyed this. And bye.